Well, good. Hello, everybody. I'm Webb Wilder, and you are our guest for The Orange Couch. We are reaching you today through the miracle of stageit.com here at Audio Productions, a wonderful recording facility on Music Row. We're in the Music Row area in Nashville, Tennessee, and our special guest today on The Orange Couch is none other than my friend and artist extraordinaire, Mr. Kevin Gordon. Hello, sir. Hi, everybody. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. Are you taking your vitamins and gearing up for the next uh, barnstorming Kevin Gordon, Johnny Appleseed of music tour? <laughs> That's right, spreading those seeds. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, I've been home all month taking vitamins. Uh, they say this is good for me. I, uh, I, Will Kimbrough is an amazing wandering minstrel, and I asked his wife, I said, what kind of vitamins does he take? And she said, well, let's put it this way. Will gets up in the morning and runs barefoot with his dog. Mm, maybe so, that's all you need. So we all aspire to be as bionic as he. Yes, indeed. So, you know, um, we want to hear your songs, of course, and, you know, I'm about as long-winded as a, uh, as a gale force wind, so I don't want to <laughs> chew too much of that up with my palaverin. But... Um, <laughs> You know, we're both from the Deep South, which I appreciate the kinship of. And, and generally, I think of you as being from Monroe, Louisiana, but is there a more specific enclave? Well, I was born in Shreveport. Okay. And when I was growing up, kind of bounced around the what I refer to as the I-20 corridor. Yep. Uh, which is anywhere from between Shreveport and Monroe, basically, leaving you basically three different options, Ruston, Monroe, or Shreveport. But from about sixth grade on, mm -hmm. Monroe, until I left for grad school. And that, that's, that's an interesting years. thing because you um, are from the Deep South where so much of the Roots music we love comes from. And I'm prejudiced because I'm from the Deep South. But, um, uh, and you were always playing music and you were a band guy and, you know, and probably had writing inclinations. But unlike almost everybody else that we know and admire that writes songs that fall into the popular music realm, you actually took and studied creative writing at the university level. I did. I was a confused young man. Uh, now I'm a confused older man, but uh, <laughs> I was doing both in college. I was studying poetry pretty seriously. I had a, the great fortune of having a really good uh, writing teacher. Mm. Um, and he suggested that I try to apply to some of the graduate programs and... Uh, I did. Well, and I'd say we, we benefited from it. It really paid off because I've, I've always uh, thought that you have sort of the unique thing of a guy that can really turn a phrase beautifully, poetically, and economically, and also play Chuck Berry-style guitar. Well, thanks. There uh, aren't a lot of those guys out there. Yeah, I mean, I've always tried to put people together. Like, I put Chuck Berry kind of together with Whitman, you know, in, in the fact that they both wrote these beautiful, long quintessentially American lines, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I mean, I could go off the deep end, but I won't. <laughs> but um, it always kind of made sense to me, the, the two going together. I, I think they're totally different disciplines, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I don't like it when songwriters get called poets. Um, it's just not accurate, really. It's a different thing. In yeah. the contemporary sense. I understand. You're flattering me. Thank you. But... Poetry is such so much a lonelier uh, uh, craft, you know, lonelier uh, trade. I can't remember who it was, but maybe I was interviewing someone or talking to someone recently who gets laid, uh, gets the craftsman tag laid on them a lot, and they didn't like that. <laughs> but but I need to not palaver so much. So um, okay. we'd love to hear your first of what I hope are several songs. What are you going to play for us? Well, um, I thought I would do uh, a song that's recently been re-recorded. Uh, thankfully, uh, by uh, my friend Todd Snyder and his uh, band of oh yeah, band of uh, partners in crime, uh, hardworking Americans. Yeah, so I thought I'd do "Down to the Well," which I wrote with my friend Colin Linden. Ah, there it is. Mm -hmm. 
Mud colored dogs, garden shotgun shakes. A red door on a green Cadillac. Hot wind blowing smoke from graveyard streets. Face I recognize looking right through me. Ain't going down to the well no more. Believe I had my fail. I worked that ground till I done got so. Ain't going back down to the well. You played that dive twenty some odd years with the faith and the whiskey. You killed your fear. I remember the night you broke down to the core. Through that black Stratocaster, through a plate glass door, ain't going down to the well no more. Believe I had my fail. Work that ground till I just got so. Ain't going back down to the well. See that woman in the corner, brother, she knows Every inch of my body, every mile of my soul We used to shake them on down till the blazing day What she doing here tonight, watching me that way? Ain't going down to the well no more. Believe I had my fail. I worked that ground till I done got so. Ain't going back down to the well. Ain't going down to the well no more Believe I had my fail I worked that ground till I done got so Ain't going back down to the well Killer. Well, thank you. It's that song, you know, has proven to be a song with legs. It endures because it's so good and people relate to it and it does the right ratio of showing to telling. Oh, thanks. you don't get all the details, but you get enough of them. And Lucinda Williams sang with you on your original version, did she not? She did. That's yes. a, and that was pretty cool too. Uh, it was. That that wasn't originally going to happen. Uh we had uh I think my friend Rick Shell singing a background vocal part on the choruses in, on the original mix, and then we ended up having to remix about half of that record. And while doing some other supplemental recording at our dearly departed friend Brian Harrison's house. Oh, gosh. Uh, she was doing demos over there, right? Well, this was before that. Okay. Um, we were working on this other song on the record called Marina Takes Her Aim. Mm -hmm. We were adding 
I think a, another bass part or something and another guitar part. And we were thinking about Down to the Well. And we thought, well, well, um, maybe maybe Lucinda's around because this song would be good for her. Yeah. You know, she would fit. And, she, you know, as luck would have it, she happened to be in town and available and... Uh, Kismet. Kismet. Well, I, I would venture to say that you both, both you and both she and you have... a. Uh, seen your share of all those sort of scenes and images that are depicted in that song and I, I, I correct me if i'm wrong i seem to remember you saying that you drew a lot of that from your experience but you were thinking of someone you knew and their experiences too right yeah the, the images come from different places and different people uh the first verse is is pretty much from my eye you know things i saw things i felt you know walking around in my hometown 15 years ago and <laughs> yeah man well this, you, know? That, you know and and we we got to move on to the next song but yeah. you know that that gives rise to what i wanted to say you mentioned we just lost brian harrison who we all affectionately called brain and yeah. he was from like me from mississippi and was a sure enough character and the south is full of characters yeah, you know and it's like it's funny that the word conservative gets used for political descriptions and for other things but uh, in terms of of the parameters of what is accidentally or deliberately allowed in rugged individualism, mm -hmm. the South owns it. Yeah, man. You know, I mean, I think so. You go to any little town, and there is, and uh, you're gonna you're gonna see the people right out of right out of the books, right? <laughs> That's right. They're, they're still there. Or what here. was the thing? What was the thing Rolling Stone said about you in that fantastic review of your last album that you were a honky tonk professor emeritus or something like that? Juke joint professor emeritus. Almost, almost. That's great, and it's just sort of true. As I tell people, I'm still trying to figure out what that means exactly. You know, because you've been to college, but you've definitely been to a lot of bars. I've seen a few taverns in my time, <laughs> from the stage and otherwise. <laughs> so, so that brings us up to the next musical selection from the KG catalog. Mm, let's see, what shall it be? I could do a new one. I could do. I'm not I'm not checking my phone to, for girlfriends, y'all. I uh, was told by our producers that uh, I would be hearing from you, the people of the loving public. So well, the loving got? public, they're what out there. Yeah, they are. God bless them. Uh, maybe I'll do, uh, speaking of the old hometown, I'll do this new song that uh, is based on a, uh, a more recent uh, visit down there. Uh, Summer Sunday morning, no one else around I'm walking on the levee between the river and the town Water's moving fast, the streets are slow I'm gonna go a little farther past the park I know Wasp on the grass, floating red thorn Sun coming up, day being born In that big house last night where I played my guitar Everyone's still sleeping off what they drank at the bar Or are they making quiet love neath the turning of a fan Did they wake to the sound of dogs barking at a man? I grew up down the road, it's been 40 years. Walking on the levee now, I'm a stranger here. Ooh. 
Read the graffiti on the pump station wall I heart amber in a red spread scrawl Did you ever have a dream your sure was real? What does God hide? What does God reveal? Her daddy had a houseboat docked right down there I still remember her kiss, the smell of her hair That boat burned and sank 25 years ago Karen died by lightning strike, I was told Walking on the levee, pretty ghost at my side Past and the present are caught in my eyes And that was inspired by your most recent trip down there? Uh, from a trip uh, last summer. Last summer. Late August. I like the way that lick takes it out. Oh, thanks. And at some point, correct me if I'm wrong, you shifted not, maybe not 100% of your playing, uh, but when you perform live, you pretty much do the open D tuning on the electric hollow guitar. Yeah, it started out as a way uh, for me to um, play solo. Mm-hmm. I simply did not have the courage or the desire to stand up in front of people with a standard tuning acoustic guitar and try to sing the songs I was writing. So I found this thing uh, in about 1993. Uh, my friend Pat Gallagher, who used to live here in town, um, he sold it to me at a very nice price. Uh, he wasn't using it. And it has, over the years, just kind of become my main guitar for I think it's playing great. and writing. And I, see, I, I shared that fear, and eventually I just ate the rat. And I, and I did it, <laughs> and I'm playing solo standard tuning That's as a non-finger picker, bashing out chords, That's ho great. hoping to be charming. And um, But but always looking to expand. And so I, I play some songs in, in open tuning, but not mm -hmm. the whole night. Um, wow, that's that's a beautiful uh, beautiful song, man. Well, thanks. Just a little moment, you know. Uh, it's, it, the song's a lot prettier than the <laughs> morning was. Well, yeah, it sounds like but, some some bummer thoughts, but beautifully uh, bittersweet memories and things. Yeah, it was about a hundred degrees at ten in the morning, and I was yeah, that's rough. I was out there actually trying to run. Oh um, God! In the humidity. And, yeah, and I'm I'm running by these places, and I'm like, oh, that's where Karen's dad's houseboat was. Oh, that's where. You know, we used to have those jungle juice parties in high school yeah. up by the uh, the pine trees there on the hill. Time waits for no one. Yeah. So, you know what? I, you on a, on a happier note, though, um, and I don't mean to be shifting too abruptly, but that's um, okay. You have a show this Saturday night at the Shed in Maryville, which might as well be Knoxville, which yes. is a great venue. It is. I love it. Run by our buddy Mark Arnold. Yes. And we were there in October, had a ball. We were cool. competing with Leonard Skinner, who was also in Maryville, Tennessee that night. Whoa. Yeah. But the greats flock to Maryville, Tennessee, and that's it. That's why you're there. You know? <laughs> it must be. And I'm actually in the fine town of uh, with our friend Tom Comet, one of the many bandmates we share uh, from time to time over the years, uh, in Columbia, Tennessee, this Saturday at Puckett's. 
in a duo capacity. Right. Excellent. Are you doing a band solo trio? What are you doing? It will be the full-on quartet situation. With Joe V. With Joe V. McMahon on guitar. Who is our mutual friend and sometimes producer, and uh, we could talk all day about him, and it'd be his show. Yes, that's right. Yeah. The Joe V. show. So what you, what you got next for us? Oh, let's see. Um, hmm. Um... We'd like to remind you that we're broadcasting live from audio productions near the Music Row area of Nashville, Tennessee. I'm Webb Wilder, last of the full-grown men, electrifying artist and author of the Webb Wilder Credo, Work Hard, Rock Hard, Eat Hard, Sleep Hard, Grow Big, Wear Glasses If You Need Them. My guest today, the one, the only Mr. Kevin Garden. <laughs> Very nice, thanks. Dead air sucks. Uh, uh, I know. Uh, let's see. All right. were counted and the bills were passed They said the shining future was here at last Nobody loses Everybody wins When that gambling money come rolling Standing on the shoulder of Casino Road Saw the man talking on the TV screen Said you can put your faith in the ace, king, and queen I drove down there, I had a twenty dollar bill The liquor was free, Lord, I had my fill I was a richer man when the rooster crowed I'm driving home from Casino Road Seven come eleven Daddy needs a friend I ain't been home Since I don't know when One good hand I'm never Coming back again Oh no baby Now the years go by and the cars go past They got them white wall ties, they got the black tinted glass The wheel of fortune spins around, around and around People keep laying their money down Yeah, but luck's as fickle as the wind that blows Dust down the black top of Casino Road Luck's as fickle as the wind that 
That's got some stank on it. Oh, well, thank you. That's got the sort of uh, <laughs> exile on Robert Johnson Road. Oh, man. Yeah, that's cool, man. Not to mention the lyric thing. The whole casino thing has changed all sorts of little <laughs> social and economic ecosystems the uh, way folks are in the Deep South, you know? Yeah, and I, I started that thinking about, uh, you know, I kind of watched that whole Tunica thing develop when I would drive back home from grad school from Iowa, my folks were still living in North Louisiana, and sometimes I'd come down through the Delta, mm -hmm. and just seeing that happen mm -hmm. um, was was yeah. And listening to people talk about it, like, well, yeah, she couldn't keep her husband off those boats, <laughs> and they just called the boats, the boats. You know, like for instance, Hattiesburg is seventy five miles from the Gulf, right? So suddenly, there's the the lure of them boats. Yeah, man. Um, you know, I'm not very high tech, and I am low rent, but uh, I'm supposed to. There are some fan questions, and they haven't floated to my uh, Big Brother is Watching box. What did I do wrong? Okay, there's a better one. Thank you. We do have smart people working here. I'm just not one of them. Um, 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 um. Someone with an amazing-looking, I can't pronounce name, said, Kevin, your tours never include El Paso. You sort of need to be on your way to California, but anyway... Uh, We'd love to go to El Paso. It's just like getting there. Um, yeah. you're never, your tours never include El Paso. Looking forward to this show. Saw Webb in Nash Vegas, too. Well, thank you. What about El Paso? I love El Paso. That's where all the cowboy boot outlet stores are. I have friends there. Yeah. It's just, yeah, it's... it's uh, A long way past the money. As I heard Billy Joe Shaver say one time, you know, that would be throwing the long ball. Yeah. You know. Well said. Uh, but, yeah, I'm, I'm all for it. And and there 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 are rumors of a, a, a westward... Uh, tour uh, sometime this this year. We thought it was going to happen maybe in May, but alas. And and have you ever been? Lindsay wants to know: Have you ever been to uh, Knuckleheads? Yes, I have. It's okay. been a while though. Yeah, I think we were there at the same time one time. Yeah, and that was the last time I, I toured out west. Yeah, you I, were making a hell of a drive from somewhere out west to get there. My last date was at Knuckleheads. The screen went blank, and I don't know where to touch it. But I know that. Corbin wanted to know, it, he, do you have a favorite bass player? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, you know, uh, what, can I, what can I say about Ron Eoff? I mean, One of what, the greatest in the world? Uh, yes. Probably do. <laughs> I mean, I, I enjoy playing with everyone who's ever played my stuff. You but know? That, I mean, that brings up a good topic. The one you play with more often than any other when you play with a bass player now is Ron. Yeah. How that, great is he? Oh man, you know, uh, as I as I tell people sometimes, and he would get mad at me for saying this, but he was in fact, you know, Jaco Pastorius's favorite bass player. Well, yeah, and not only that, but uh, he played with the Cates Brothers and Delbert McClinton's band for years. Those are pretty good, mm -hmm. um, you know, um, resume entries. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, he. Uh, we both know that there was that post last waltz phase of the band where the cage brothers would go out with everybody but robbie and he'd be playing alongside danko yeah sometimes two bases at once so yeah and just above and beyond all that he's great oh man <laughs> he's just a great bass player incredible one of the best yeah. so i think it's encore time here and uh encore and um you know i um uh, since it is webb wilder on the orange couch i i sort of worm my way into collaborating with our very talented <laughs> guests. And uh, Ke Kevin, like a lot of great artists, has a lot of great songs. And this is actually an older one that our, our friend Joe V. McMahon played with him on, on his original record. And uh, we're going to do it for you. but And cue me when I come in. Uh, okay. But real quick, tell the folks what it was like to have 
icons like Keith Richards and Levon Helms singing and recording and releasing your song? It's pretty pretty weird, man. Yeah. Uh, you know, it was a classic music business thing. You hear that it's going to happen seven weeks before the session is scheduled, and, you know, you, you go to bed each night just hoping and praying that all of those who are supposed to be at said session will arrive at the appointed time and be conscious. Right. Uh, which, considering the band of troublemakers that was involved in that recording, mm-hmm. you know, uh, I'm it not could... sure what was a safe bet, really. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I mean, it's great. It's great to hear that track, you know, uh, to have all those people on it, you know, some of whom are no longer with us, you know. It, it's... Uh, blows my mind well and you know this song really stands in its own light lyrically and melodically but my favorite music has roots and goes somewhere with it and this has a lot of chuck berry roots and uh, keith is such a chuck berry branch on that tree that it's doubly cool to have him on it not to mention levon is all roots you know oh, yeah. all american musics but anyway so it's tell it's called deuce and a quarter right it is indeed yep okay Let's see. Shall I? You shall. Okay, I'll try to remember to cue you. All right. Okay. One, two, three, four. Buy a bottle, get to feeling good. The world's looking like you think it should. Happy hour, everyone's your friend. Closing time, sugar, you're down again. Up in the morning and you face this town You walk the same streets up and down Fire burning in your worn out shoes Every day you got something to prove The curb feelers and the thin the skirts Scrub the home until your elbow hurts Pin stripes and cherry packs Grass stands on your second hand slacks Keep on betting, think you're going to win you can dress it up and try to pretend Car's a car and that's a fact A deuce and a quarter ain't no can leg It's you Uncle Johnny Hypochondriac He thinks his headache is a heart attack Honey, bring me down a couple more pills. Call a lawyer up and change my will. A ham sandwich and a glass of tea. Lunch is cheap and never free. Shaking hands and scratching backs. Grass stains on your sick of hand slacks. Well, you keep on betting, try to win. You can dress it up and try to pretend. A car's a car and that's Got a date, got a dress with care Wash the gray right out of my hair Clean the car out and when I'm through Wax it up until it looks brand new The curb feelings and the fender skirts Scrub the chrome until my elbow hurts Pin stripes and cherry packs Grass stains on my second hand slacks Keep on betting, think you're going to win You can dress it up and try to pretend Car's a car and that's a fact A deuce and a quarter ain't no Cadillac Car's a car and that's a fact A deuce and a quarter ain't no Cadillac
fun. Thanks for watching, everybody. This has been the Orange Couch here at Audio Productions in Nashville, Tennessee, via the miracle of StageIt.com. I'm Webb Wilder, and our special guest today has been Kevin Gordon. Thank you, folks.